perfect, just know that God glorifies himself in everything. That's right, that's right. I want to go ahead and get started by introducing our wonderful, wonderful sister in Christ, Miss Christina Hall. She's going to go ahead and perform a song for us of a mother's love. is something that no one can explain. It is made of deep devotion and of sacrifice and pain. It is endless and unselfish and enduring what may come. For nothing can destroy or take that love away. It is patient and forgiven when all others are forsaken. It never fails or falters, even though the heart is breaking. It believes beyond believing when the world around condemns and it glows with all the beauty of the rarest, brightest gems. It is far beyond defining. It defies all explanation. And it still remains a secret like the mysteries of creation. A many splendored miracle man cannot understand. And another, and another wondrous evidence of God's tender guiding guide hand. There is no love like a mother's love. Her heart is filled with care. With Christ as her example, her Savior's love she'll share. A mother's love is endless, not changing for all time. When needed by her children, a mother's love will shine. God bless these special mothers and bless them, everyone, for all their tears and heartaches and special work they've done. When days on earth are over, a mother's love lives on. Through many generations, God's blessing on each one. Be thankful for our mothers yes. Yes. who love with higher love. For never God, for power God has given and strength from up above. Thank Hallelujah. You. Hallelujah. I want to say happy Mother's Day to my aunt. She has played an instrumental role in my life. Yes. Always get along. You don't have a lot. But I want to say thank you for all that you've done for me, and I love you endlessly. Love thank you. Love Part of the tears really stuck out to me because the tears our mothers cry for us, even when it's not perfect. We all bump heads, we're humans. But those tears water the seed that they planted in us when we're born. So I want to thank you so much, Sister Christina, for that beautiful piece. It really exemplifies a mother's love. Up next, we have our powerful brother, Elijah Sterling, that will be coming up to read a selection called What It Means to Be a Mother. You got this, Elijah. 
Yes. I ain't gonna lie, man. I miss church. <laughs> we miss you. But um, I wrote what it means to be a mother from the dome, you yeah. know? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm gonna start. What it means to be a mother? Being a mother means being completely and totally overwhelmed. The best way, of course. By love, joy, responsibility, selflessness, the work days, the sleepless nights, vulnerable times, big laughs, the honesty, compassion, the strength, intuitive, mindfulness, being blunt, protective, bold, graceful, courageous, humble, confident, crafty, polite, or needed to, of course, clever, understanding, helpful, spirited, blessed, cool, resourceful, for the money, of course, respectable, unique, radiant, accepting, appreciative, fun, resilient, supportive, etc. That's a lot, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Let me reinstate, a mother is everything to everyone in the house. To one, you are a planner, to another, a cook, to another, a driver, a counselor, a doctor, to another, a companion, and the list goes on. Motherhood means getting to see all the possibility in the world through your children's eyes. And also wanting to be the kindest and most generous version of yourself so that your children can look up to you. Being a mother means it is the responsibility to give your children the tools they need to live a happy and meaningful life. On a day-to-day -day level, let's not forget being tired, sometimes grumpy, never left alone, and then in one loving or meaningful moment with your kids, realizing that it's all worth it. So, to all you gorgeous, awesome, wonderful, beautiful, self-sacrificing, life-giving, nurturing and incredible moms. Happy Mother's Day to you all. May your day be even more special. But not just today, every day also. And also shout out to the women who stepped up too, to being a mother in their own way. We love you also. Thank you. while that time is germinating those seeds. Amen. Next up, we have uh, Apostle Sister Sarah Williams here. Oh, wonderful. So she's gonna go ahead and come up and read us a selection of Queen Mother, speaking of Queen. Good morning. 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 Wonderful. Okay. This is poem titled Queen Mother. Right. <laughs> Queen Mother, strong and wise. Wise. Her faith in God never dies. She leads with grace and dignity, a shining example for all to see. Her heart is full of love and compassion. She cares for all with, his, with true devotion. Her hands are always ready to help, guiding others through life's tangled kelp. Her presence is like a beacon of light, guiding her people through the darkest night. With wisdom gained from years of prayer, she leads her kingdom with a gentle care. Queen Mother, so noble and true, we honor and cherish all that you do. May you be blessed with joy and peace, and may your reign never cease. Amen. Wow, that was powerful, powerful, sister. Thank you for that. A mother's faith really is unlike any other. Devoted even through her frustration, even through the challenges that arise. We all know being a parent is not easy. So up next, uh, Apostles Brother Xavier here. Okay, excellent. So Brother Xavier is going to come up and read us a poem on Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day indeed, everyone. Morning. 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 Happy M Day. M's 
abstains from majesty, he abstains from marvelous, he abstains from magnificent. Since his mother is dating, I have some words to say. You are an ancient proverb, whispering wisdom in our ears. You are a source of comfort that quiets all our fears. Mothers go by many names, yet their love is all the same. For you, she will always do her best, constantly working this on Psalms first. Give your mothers your gates to have some peace of mind, and be gentle, be good, be helpful, be kind. A mother of love is something that no one can explain. It has made a deep devotion sacrifice of me. Your gentle ways and kind advice have seen me through without advice. You're always there when I need a hand, my mother, my mentor, and friend. A teacher and guardian always alert to protect and hear me whenever I hurt. A tender smile to God my way, hear the sunshine to light my day. I see you're tired when I get home, you feel some days you're all alone. Your love is unconditional, your love is full of gold. Your child is your baby, or the younger old. God sent you to me as a special gift from above, to teach me like blessings and shower me with your love. With all my heart, I want to see, I love you, Mom. Amen. Amen. A treasure trove indeed. I love that part about an ancient proverb whispering wisdom. Wow. It reminds me of Proverbs 31 that speaks of who can find a virtuous woman for her worth is far above rubies. Right. Know that what your mother says to you is far more precious yes. than any gem in this world. Mm. Come on, Evangelist. All righty, so up next, very excited about this one. We have Sister Lexis Hinserheims. Hi. Hi. Gonna read us a selection, Dear Mama by Tupac. All right. Come on now. Thank you. Say what you said. <laughs> Good, morning. Good morning. So I want to say Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. And before I start, I want to talk about before I read my poem. I want to say Happy Mother's Day to my auntie because my auntie raised me and my brothers and sisters. She raised my mom with five kids when she was 24. Like I was one years old, and my mama had twins. My little brothers and sisters, they were newborn babies. And my oldest brother, he was four and three. So she had to sacrifice everything, stop going to school, to raise, to raise us. And my auntie, she's a really good woman. Like, she had her own kids. She had two kids of her own. And we played sports. I was a cheerleader. My brother, they played football. They got scholarships to go to school. Everybody graduated high school. Like, she, she pushed us. And my auntie, she pushed us to graduate high school. And some of us graduated college. And my majority of us graduated college. The only one they didn't out of the seven, it was me and my brother. But everybody graduated. And um, we, um, we didn't go to church. We didn't pray. We didn't worship. And I remember one day, we was in the car. She was taking us to school. We, she had a truck. She had all of us in the car. And she was like... <laughs> Did y'all say thank you, Jesus, for waking, for waking you up this morning? And I said, nobody didn't say nothing. So we ain't go to church. We ain't right. We only went to church like two or three times. So no, she said, when y'all wake up, y'all say thank you, Jesus, for waking y'all up. That's so right. we was in the room like, thank you, Jesus, for waking us up. <laughs> and I remember I was 18. I was in college. And I was catching the bus the main day. And I was like, I didn't say thank you, Jesus. I was not. I was going home. I was like, I didn't even say thank you, Jesus, for waking me up. So I was like, when I get off the bus, I'm going to be like, thank you, Jesus. I was like, thank you, Jesus, for waking me up this morning. And then I got in the house. I was like, I'm going to say it one more time. Thank you, Jesus, for waking me up this morning. And then I had met Pastor's sister. I had met her, and I was in her house. And she was like, I was doing her daughter hair. And she was like, I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. And I'm like, Listening, I'm like, can you hear me? And then she was like, yeah. So I'm like, okay. So I was doing my daughter hair, and I'm like, I gotta go home real quick. I'm gonna come back. So I'm like, I, I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. And then I waited for God to speak to me because I wanted Him to speak to me, and then He didn't speak to me right then and there. Thank you. And then 
I went back to doing her hair. And then I just said to say, like, my auntie, even though we didn't go to church, she planted a seed in there. And I see grew when I began saved, when I began to know God, I began to pray for her. I began to pray for my brothers and sisters. So I'm gonna read a poem, cause I appreciate my auntie. Let it flow. So, this poem is, it says, Dear Mama, there's no way I could pay you back. But my plan is to show you that I understand. You are appreciated. I can always depend on my mama. And when it seems that I'm hopeless, you say the words that can get me back into focus. When I was sick as a little kid, to keep me happy, there's no limit to the things that you did. And my childhood memories are full of the are full from all the sweet things that you did for me and my brothers and sisters. And even though I act crazy, I gotta thank the Lord that you made me. There's no word that I can express how I feel. And I appreciate how you raised me and all the extra love that you gave me. I wish I could take the pain away. And if I could make it through the night, there's a brighter day. And everything will be all right if you hold on. It's a scribble every day. Gotta roll on. There's no way I can pay you back. But my plan is to show you that I understand. You are appreciated. Wow. I know that there's not a dry eye in this room right now. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you so much for that, Sister Lexus. That was very powerful. Powerful testimony that you just gave. Thank you. You know, um, let the tears flow, y'all. It really touched me, that part where it says, I wish I could take the pain away. I know that, again, like no matter what the nature of our journey with our mothers has been, we can see that pain in them, that motherly love that really is unlike anything you'll ever encounter in this world. And I did wanna, you know, once Proverbs 31 came to my mind, I wanted to linger there for a little bit. And I wanted to go ahead and just read till the spirit stops me. <laughs> Who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies? The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her so that he shall have no need of school. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeketh wool and flax, and worketh willingly with her hands. She is like the merchant ships, she bringeth her food from afar. She riseth, she riseth also while it is yet night, and giveth meat to her household, and a portion to her maidens. She considereth a field, and buyeth it, with the fruit of her hands she planteth a vineyard. It's funny how that came full circle, right church? Our mothers really begin planting in us the moment that God stitches us together in her womb. Our mothers are full of dreams, hopes, aspirations for us. And through life, through experience, you know, we begin to change. Sometimes we shape into things that they don't expect. But nonetheless, God glorifies himself in it all. That's right. We are covered in the blood of Christ. And I want you all to know today, church, that I love every single one of you the way God has instructed us to love one another. I know it's hard. I know we're not always feeling it. I know that we all have our differences. But to be able to come together in this house today to honor our mothers, to honor each other, there's really nowhere else I'd rather be. Amen. And if it's all right with you, Apostle, I would like to go ahead and jump into okay. my part. So I was actually gonna, I'm a poet and a rapper, so I was gonna read you guys a poem, but the Holy Spirit woke me up this morning and shifted me. So I will be reading to you all from the book of Ephesians. 
Um, and if you guys want to read the poem independently, it's called Rock Me to Sleep by Elizabeth Akers Allen because it is beautiful, but I'm going to grab my sword <laughs> so that I may be able to go ahead and read to you all from where the Holy Spirit led me this morning and share the words that the Holy Spirit put upon me today. Keep me on track, Apostle, because you know I get carried away. <laughs> my spirit, Mother. Alrighty, y'all. So if you have your sword, you can follow me over to Ephesians 6. And I'm going to read you all, my apologies, I'm going to read to you all chapter 5, verse 21, and then I'm going to jump over to Ephesians 6, verses 1 through 4. So Ephesians chapter 5, verse 21 tells us, and this, in some Bibles, I'm not sure if it's in all, but this part is, is called Instructions for Christian Households. So verse 21, chapter 5 says, Submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. If you can't do it for your mom, if you can't even do it for yourself, do it for Christ. Do it to honor our Heavenly Father, our Shepherd, the Holy Spirit that resides in each and every one of us. And when we jump over to chapter 6, it says, verse 1 through 4, it says, Children, Obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Yes. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with a promise, so that it may go well with you. And that you may enjoy long life on the earth. Fathers, do not exasperate your children. Instead, bring them up in the training and instruction of the Lord. I want you all to know that every family, no matter how good it may look on the outside, has its challenges. We have our generational curses that we have been called forth to break. When you feel like things are falling apart, when you want to stray, when you want to get away, bring God into every single situation. I can personally testify to you all that I grew up in a broken home. And it wasn't through anyone's fault. Life is just full of so much struggle, so much pain, so many challenges that we don't anticipate. But I want you all to know that all you need is that mustard seed of faith. If you can plant that in whatever wings the enemy tried to lay astray to choke out the garden of your family, I want you to know you can go back as far as your lineage starts and ask the Lord to cleanse it, to take his winnowing fork, to uproot the rot, the disease, the misery. There is no spell, no curse, no witch, no warlock that can destroy what God's plan is for you. Plans to prosper you. Plans to strengthen you. And I decree and I declare today in the name of Jesus that every single knee in your household will bow. Every single knee in your household will bow. There will be no spirit of pride, of arrogance, of discord, of resentment that will break you all apart. You are united under the Lord today and always. I don't care what it looks like. I know what's happening in the spirit. And that's what you need to trust and believe in how life, the devil is a lie. Yes, he is. He is a liar, the master of lies and deception. Yes, he is. Grasp onto Jesus' sandals when you have nothing else. And even if you have to drag yourself on that walk, do not stop. Amen. Dig until he does. Push until the wellspring bursts forth. Amen. And may your families today and always be covered in the mighty blood yes. of Jesus. May the Holy Spirit infiltrate every single one of you. The light of our Heavenly Father will penetrate the yes. deepest darkness. There is no abyss that he cannot be hit the bottom of. There is no pain 
that he cannot heal. I need you all to believe that if you don't believe nothing else today. I know it's hard. I know it's impossible, but impossible is a human thing. Impossible is what he does. He makes the impossible possible, and I can say that with my chest, church, because he's done it for me and continues to do it for me. I pray that the love of the Holy Spirit floods you all today and always and strengthens you at every moment, church. May God's angels help you soar over every obstacle, every creature, every essence, every presence that is not of the Lord will be cleared out of your way and your paths will be made straight Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Shake it, shake it, shake it.
have for the coffee lovers a $15 Starbucks coffee, uh, gift card. And for this one, we have Amari's mom. <laughs> Mama from Boy Cement for me. One more? No. Okay, boy. Let's just enjoy the song and then our isn't RMC doing an awesome job? Put your hands together for her. Come on, put your hands together. Thank you. 
This next one I'm also very excited for. We all know the passion of our beautiful sister Zanaria. Hey. We're going to be doing one of our powerful dance selections that will shift the atmosphere and the yes. spirit. Go ahead, sister Zanaria.
breathtaking, breathtaking sister Zanaya, as always. We hold on no matter how long it takes, church. Amen. We hold on, and I want to thank God for every single one of you today that was born from a mother's womb. Amen. You are blessed to be a blessing, church. Amen. Your life is a miracle. Up next, we do have, uh, it, I'm so sorry, I say this wrong, Sana. Okay, okay, no worries. Ooh. <laughs> you know I adore you, Sister Amari. Listen, we're about to be have heaven sing straight to us through our beautiful sister here, Sister Amari. I'm going to sing to you, I give my life. Go ahead and put us in a state of surrender, sister. Um, it's a lot of wild stuff today. Yeah. <laughs> First and foremost, God bless you from the bottom of my heart to everybody here. Amen. To all the mothers, Woo! I hope you get all the love, the Amen. treats, everything. Today and not just today, you know, continuing on. You know, especially the mother of this house, the Woo! two mothers of this house. Amen. Uh, 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 oh, we love you. We appreciate you. I love you. I appreciate you. And from, from people who are, we are always pulling from, Amen. sometimes we have to return ourselves to the source. Me included, the, the, the theme of today is the strength, just strength. Yes. So um, this song is by Jason Upton, and it's called To You I Give My Life. Um, and that's what we're going to do. Okay. Dedicated to all of you.
We have Sister Melanie Jenkins, who is going to do to the mothers. Amen. Right. Pink, I see. I know, right? <laughs> Love it. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hello? Right, check one, two, there, there, you go. Go. there we go. Um, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. And also, happy Mother's Day to everyone that steps in and feels in like a mother. I am not a Amen. mother myself as of yet to come, hopefully, in God's will. But I am a godmother, so I go hard for my god kids. So if you are a godmother, if you're an auntie, a sister, someone, a grandparent who steps in to be a mother to those you love, happy Mother's Day to you. It is not by accident that I am up here because <laughs> as I saw everyone getting called up here, I was like, okay, Lord, lead me because I know I'm going to be next. Amen. So, Amen. Well, as I was sitting there and I was searching the word and I was asking the Holy Spirit, what would you have for me to say? Um, he took me back to Genesis. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be reading after out of Genesis chapter 1, verse starting with verse 21. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs and closed up instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord had taken from man made he a woman and brought her unto the man. And Adam said, this is now bone of my bones 
and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. So basically, um, I feel like the Lord brought me here because when we think about Mother's Day and we think about women, um, that is where it started. Mm -hmm. He decided that man needed woman. And that should just let us know as women, um, young ladies, that we have an important role yeah. in this thing called life. Yeah. We bring forth life, yeah. which is the greatest gift that God could allow us to do. And there are some that struggle and that may not be their portion, but nevertheless, this is a job that the Lord himself gave us as women. And even if you cannot conceive, because there are some women that have issues, but it's okay because we trust the Lord in all things. Amen. So even if you can't give life naturally, it's what you step in and do for those around you. Yeah. So I just want to encourage all the women in the building to understand the power and authority that you have, what God has chosen you to do for the kingdom, because he said, be fruitful and multiply. So Amen. that is our job to be come fruitful on. and multiply. So I just want to say thank you for allowing me to come and say something. I hope yes. you guys received it. Yes. But yeah, Amen. just know your power, ladies. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you for blessing us with that powerful yeah. word, Sister Melanie. Truer words have truly never been spoken. As women, we are indeed life givers, nurturers by nature. Amen. Up next, we have our brother Pierre Blackhorn. Right? Where's he at? I'll just say <laughs> He's about to walk in right now, and he's going to go ahead and bless us with his song selection. Woo! And I pray that the mothers being honored today are blessed and touched by this song from a pie. Go ahead, put it here.
She's a mother to all of us in here. Amen. It would be remiss of you not to wish you a happy, happy, happy Mother's Day. And we just want you to know we love you. Yes. We love Amen. you. Amen. We want to say anything because today my heart is so full. I miss my mom, guys. Yes. I miss my mom. It's just two weeks since she's left. But today, yes. when I woke up, my heart is like, I look around the house, I didn't see her. I was like, oh, I miss my mother. Anyway, Aww. today was wonderful. Yes, it was. We just thank God. Yes, Sometimes it's good to do something with the friends. Because at the end of the day, it's all about Him. Right? That's right. It's all about Him. So, Father, we just want to say we thank you, God, for just this opportunity to be in your presence. We thank you, God, that we can set aside everything, God, and concentrate on you. And Father God, you have woke us up this morning in our right minds. Father, you have made every crooked place straight. And Father God, even as we go out through this week, Father, we thank you, God, that your grace, your mercy, your favor will continue to shine in and through us, God, in the name of Jesus. Father, you are the only one, God, who provides for us. You're the only one, God, we can look to because your word says, God, to look to the hills from which come and from our help. So, Father God, even as we leave this place today, but not your presence, God, we thank you, God, that we'll continue to wrap our arms around you, God. Because, God, you are our help. You are our everything. So, Father, we thank you, God, as we step out of this place, Father, that your grace continue to abide in us. Go ahead of us, God. Make every crooked place straight. Father, we thank you, God, that our finances, God, you will touch each and every person in this house. Father, you know the hearts of those who have to give and those who don't have. Father, I thank you, God, for those who are maybe expecting a job this week. Father, I thank you, God, that it's already done. Those who are expecting, Father, you know the hearts of everyone and you know the expectation. And Father, I thank you, God, that next week they'll be able to come with a strong testimony. Because, God, we know it's all about you. Yes. So each and every one, I thank you for coming today. And I pray that you continue to have an awesome, awesome, awesome Mother's Day. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 